Hey, are you doing well? And you're keeping safe because I have to start with that. You always ask, so I made sure that I have all the right things with me. My mask is here, hand sanitizer is here. What else have I got? Water, because you got to stay hydrated. And I got coffee, because heaven knows I need it. But why have I got pen and paper and I'm also, you know, going through my laptop? Because I go through your comments to make sure that I don't end up like 10 days, 20 days on, and I haven't responded to something you raised. So this is me doing something. Number one, just bringing closure to a conversation you actually pointed me to, and then me also pointing you to something that I think you need to be really, really aware of, all right? So you kept telling me when it comes to great deals, I have failed you completely on electronics and white goods. I'm sorry, I have heard and seen nothing. I pointed you to Samsung, so I hope it worked. The other thing you told me I did not elaborate on, and I'm like, ah, uh, that's not even not fair because I did my my best is that you told me and then you didn't even bother to retweet when Standard Chartered showed you the deals. They have the best. I mean, they're the people who went and sorted you out on every angle. I realize when it comes to holidays, you had tighter heels and baobab, which I hear when it comes to families is mwah. They also sorted you out on KQ, gave you a deal on Glovo, and also on Victoria Furnishings. And all you had to do was use your card. But I want you to not only take advantage of that, because remember my mantra this year has been, if you find a good deal, if you can save money, please run with that thing. But I want to talk about something that I feel we don't say enough of around this time of the year. You being secure with your money, no matter how you access it. And I'm going to just talk about banking, because that's something that everybody has been a little, touchy about you know in the last couple of months and for good reason so let me tell you how i believe we need to operate from this point going forward if you're going to access your bank account online do what i do i don't use wi-fi i do not know i don't use wi-fi i do not know which means if i have to but the only way i do it is on my phone with my own data so if i have to tether from my phone to my laptop i do it or at home. You will not find me sitting in a restaurant, in a cafe, anywhere, logging onto my bank. That one I do not do. Because ask, ask your bank. My dear, you'll be told a little insecure. I know, sometimes you're telling me, but I'm somewhere else. I'm just saying being hypervigilant is not a bad thing. The other thing is this, change your PIN. Change it often if you have to. And this is when you're using your card at an ATM, you're using it at a restaurant, change your pin especially around this time if in the case of standard chart i know they keep sending you these sms they say car chonjo if they tell you car chonjo that's a good reason to literally go in and do what you need to do and then the final thing is be shady you know when you put in your pin on a pdq you do this me i'm like that miss jali look at me like i came from shags yesterday but how if i'm not hyper vigilant how am i going to protect myself so those are my two messages for you. I mean, enjoy yourself, take advantage of every deal you've gotten, and thank you for pointing me to the standard chartered ones, but here's from me to you. Be hyper, hyper vigilant when it comes to how you're transacting with your bank, with your card, with your money during this time. Can you do that? And then stay safe and have a fantastic festive season. All right, super.